Uh, welcome to our channel. In this lesson, I want us to discuss uh, biology form three, uh, topic classification two, uh, subtopic major uh, five kingdoms. Now, objectives of the lesson. Number one, you need to know uh, the major five kingdoms. Number two, you need to know kingdom Monera. And the kingdom Monera, you will discuss the examples of kingdom Monera, uh, general characteristics of kingdom Monera, uh, types of bacteria, and then finally, economic importance of uh, kingdom Monera. Now, to start with, the major five kingdoms, which are kingdom Monera, examples, they include bacteria and blue-green algae. Uh, kingdom fungi examples include mold and mushroom. Kingdom protectista examples include amoeba, uh, paramecium, uh, plasmodium, and euglena. While kingdom animalia include uh, all animals, including us. We have kingdom plantaria examples include all plants. And the kingdom monera, you said examples are bacteria and blue-green algae. This is a diagram showing bacteria. You can see the cytoplasm. We have the cell wall, we have the plasma membrane, uh, we have the mesosome, we have the inclusions, we have the ribosomes, we have the bacterial DNA, which is the chromosomal DNA, and then we have the plus, we have plasmid DNA, and then we have the flagellum, which is for locomotory uh, structures. Now, from there, we need to know the general characteristics of Kingdom Monera. Number one, they are mainly unicellular. Unicellular, this one means uh, they are single-celled organisms. They only have one cell. Number two, they are prokaryotic. Therefore, they are prokaryotes. Prokaryotic means these are organisms uh, with which their nucleus is not bounded by a nuclear membrane. They are either autotrophs or heterotrophs. Autotrophs means they are able to make their own food, while heterotrophs means they uh, feed on already uh, made food. So some of them are autotrophs, while uh, others are heterotrophs. Now, number four, they lack both the chloroplasts and the cell vacuoles. Now, remember, the chloroplast is the one that is that contains the chlorophyll, the green coloring matter, the photosynthetic pigment. So the ones which are uh, heterotrophs means they lack the chloroplast, but the ones uh, which are uh, autotrophs, it means they have the chloroplasts. They also lack a cell vacuole. Number five, they have flagella or cilia, and this is for locomotion. Locomotion is a movement that involves a whole body. Now, number six, they have few organelles. Number seven, they reproduce by a binary fission. Now, from there, we have types of bacteria. We have a bacteria called uh, cocci. Uh, we have a bacteria called streptococcus. Uh, we have a uh, bacteria called uh, bacilli. From there, now we need to know economic importance of Kingdom Monera. Now, when we are talking about economic importance of, uh, of, of a certain kingdom, then we need to know the both positive and the negative importance. Number one, we have bacteria helps in a nitrogen cycle. A good example is the rhizobium bacteria. Number two, bacteria helps in production of some foods, e.g. yogurt, cheese, and so on. Uh, bacteria helps in production of antibiotics which are used for, to, 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 to fight against uh, pathogens. Number four, bacteria is used in treatment of uh, sewage. Uh, bacteria causes and transmits uh, many infectious uh, diseases. That is the end of our lesson. For more videos, uh, subscribe uh, to our channel. Uh, thank you.